What is LinkedIn Creator Mode and what does it mean for your business? If you have been wondering about the same thing, stay tuned as today I'm going to tell you all about this brand new feature and how you can enable it on your profile. Hi, I'm Bendy and I'm all about helping coaches and course creators attract the highest quality inbound leads on LinkedIn. Now, if you want clients to be chasing after you, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you could become the next LinkedIn superstar. So what is LinkedIn creator mode all about? Now, to truly understand this, we actually need to take one step back and consider what has happened to LinkedIn in the last couple of years. Chances are that you go on LinkedIn 5, 10 or even 15 years ago, at which point LinkedIn was predominantly a place where job seekers and recruiters hung out. So you probably created your LinkedIn profile and then forgot all about it because at that point there wasn't much to do on LinkedIn. Let me know in the comments if that was you. So what changed? How did LinkedIn go from being a repository of resumes to becoming a powerful content creation platform that can help you win new clients every single day? Well, let me explain. LinkedIn actually started transforming in 2017 when it introduced native video. Before that point, it was actually not possible for you to upload videos directly onto LinkedIn. Now, I know it sounds crazy right now, but it honestly wasn't that long ago. Since then, LinkedIn has been on its A game, introducing many new content types like stories, carousels, LinkedIn lives, polls, you name it. And remember, none of these features existed five years ago. So what does all of this actually have to do with LinkedIn creator mode, you might be wondering. Now, the truth is that LinkedIn has been strategically working towards becoming the dominant content creation platform for business owners. Introducing creator mode is just another way LinkedIn is signaling to us that content is going to become the top priority on this platform. This, by the way, is great news for you because creating content helps business owners get new leads on LinkedIn for free. If for some reason you are not creating content yet, be sure to message me on LinkedIn and ask me about the LinkedIn Bootcamp. All right, so what does LinkedIn Creator Mode actually look like? When you enable it on your profile, you're going to notice a couple of changes. Number one, the connect button will switch to follow button, making it easier for you to grow your following. People will still be able to connect with you if they want to, but having follow as your primary option will help you grow on LinkedIn. Why? Well, think about your own behavior. Have you ever felt a bit reluctant sending a connection request to someone you don't know? Well, I sure have. And now, if you want to keep up with their work, you can actually follow them, which means it removes any resistance for you to join their world. Now, again, this is great news for you because having the follow button on your profile is encouraging more people to join your world. Number two, you will be able to add up to five hashtags underneath your profile, telling your profile visitors what you're all about and what type of content they can expect from you. Remember, you are using hashtags to intrigue your ideal clients. If, for example, you had a hashtag relationships on your profile, I would know that I should follow you for relationship tips. So even if this is the very first time I have landed on your profile, I will immediately know what's your niche and if it seems of interest to me. Number three, LinkedIn will display your follower count at the top of your profile. Now, some of you might feel a bit reluctant about this, but the truth is that you do not need thousands of followers to make money on LinkedIn. I made my first 10K on LinkedIn when I only had 1,896 followers. And if you want to learn how you can do the same, be sure to ask me about the LinkedIn Bootcamp. Number four, your featured section will be moved above your about section. Now, you might be thinking that this is a weird change, but the truth is that LinkedIn is helping you connect with your ideal clients and feature your work. Featured section is awesome for displaying testimonials, lead magnets, YouTube videos, you name it. Now, if you want more tips on how to improve your featured section, be sure to check out this video next and I will also link that in the cards above. Number five, your activity section will showcase your content only. Now, I'm personally very excited about this one because rather than displaying other people's posts that you have engaged with, which is basically how it used to work, now people only will be able to see your content, which means more eyeballs to your posts. All right, so by now you might be wondering, should you enable creator mode on your profile? The short answer is yes. 
If you are on LinkedIn because you want to attract new clients for your business, this one is a no-brainer. However, remember that you don't just want to enable creator mode on your profile, you actually want to start creating content. Why? Because giving value on LinkedIn is the simplest way for you to build your credibility on the platform and get inbound leads sliding in your DMs. So if you haven't tapped into this yet, it is time to get started. If you would like assistance with creating content that actually gets clients, be sure to message me on LinkedIn and ask me about the LinkedIn Bootcamp. All right, so how do you activate the creator mode on your profile? Before I share my screen with you, I wanted to remind you that creator mode is slowly getting released across LinkedIn. So there is a possibility that you might not have it yet, in which case, hold on tight as it should arrive shortly. So let me show you how to activate LinkedIn creator mode if you have it available. Now first, you want to go to your profile and then you will see a box over here that says LinkedIn creator mode on for me. Now this is because I have already enabled it. For the purposes of this video, I will actually disable it so that we could do the whole process together. So I'm going to click on that right now and I'm turning the creator mode off and saving. Here we go. As you can see, creator mode is now off. I will go back here, click on it and then set everything up. Now you're going to click next over here. Then you're going to select the hashtags you're talking about. I have selected three. If you want to add any new topic, just click over here, add topic and start typing. So for example, this could be marketing. If we start doing marketing, this could be sales, anything that is relevant to your niche. You want to select your hashtags and once you are ready, you're going to click save. And as you can see over here at the top, the creator mode is now on. And you can learn more about this if you want or just say no thanks. There you have it. That is how you activate LinkedIn creator mode on your profile. Now, if you want more ideas of how to attract the right type of clients on LinkedIn, be sure to grab my quick start guide to LinkedIn below this video. Also, be sure to check out this video next on how to record your LinkedIn cover story as that's another awesome way to connect with your ideal clients. I would appreciate if you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow on YouTube. Thank you again for being here and I will see you in the next one.